All right, well, we are getting ready for the holidays this weekend, and sometimes we need new ideas for food and drinks. Well, the Chow Girls have released a new book, Chow Girls Killer Party Food, Righteous Bites and Cocktails for Every Season. Heidi Andermack and Amy Brown join us live in studio. Welcome, ladies. This looks amazing. Thank you. Hi, thanks for having us. I love it. It looks great. Where should we start? We are going to start with a cocktail. Perfect. That's what the better best way to start? way to start any poly holiday party, <laughs> right? It's something to do while we're chatting. This so is true. a hot rod toddy. Okay. And what it is is it's uh, tea that's been steeped with all of these spices. We had a great visit in Silver Lake, and we went to the spice station, and they hooked us up with these great anise uh, star anise and pink peppercorns. So this tea has been steeped with that. We're going to mix that in. It's important to have a good signature cocktail at some time, some of your party. Yeah, this and this is nice, what, a nice one because it's light mm -hmm. and, um, and it has those smells. Oh, I was going to say, it smells delicious. Yeah, it, it has just... the holiday smells with cinnamon and clove and cardamom. And then don't forget the whiskey. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> I like the free pour as well. Now, can you display the spices as well just to kind of make it look kind of nice? Yeah, that's a cool. beautiful. We love having to do that. And, and we sometimes have outside of a pitcher, we have the f spices kind of laying out. I got there. it. Okay. And then over here we have persimmons mm. wrapped with prosciutto. Um, we're from Minneapolis, and in Minneapolis we don't have persimmons. And I came to the Santa Monica <laughs> Farmers Market one day and was like, oh my God, what is this? It's so fresh, right? Yeah. So we did a treatment like you do with watermelon, or I'm sorry, melon wrapped in prosciutto with a mint leaf on it. It's a great and, take. Um, we took that with persimmon here, and it's so fantastic. So you're taking like local market ideas and just kind of revamping exactly. it. Exactly. Because I've never seen this. It looks great. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> of course. Thank you. Yes. And then here we have some other healthy options. This is a um, edamame pate. Mm, okay. Um, it's seasoned with orange and sesame. We serve that with rice crackers. And then over here, this is a quinoa cooked in coconut milk. Oh, great. And you got like on a little boat almost, like a little yes. boat display. Yes. These are little bamboo boats that can be. Um, Composted. Perfect. And then and you got then the uh, nice. Topped with pomegranate seed. And then these are apples that have been sauteed with turmeric and ginger. Okay. Fresh turmeric and ginger. And that's what gives them that cool color. Mm. Ginger's also good for belly. Yeah. <laughs> good for inflammation. Yes. Inflammation. This is a really yes. helpful dish and something else that Heidi at a visit, uh, you know, at another California visit. Good. Yep. Well, we, we need to come back so you can get some know, more of these right? ideas. They're you know, great our cookbook ideas. is filled with those kind of fried appetizery, delicious bites that people are excited about. But it's nice to have a healthy alternative. Yeah. So we have a lot of colorful. those too. Yeah. yeah. And, and so these are both cool. vegan too. So both our vegan. cookbook covers the whole spectrum. Perfect. With vegan too. Fabulous meat. Oh, yeah. nice. What are we doing here? This is our corn pancakes with carnitas and pickled red yeah. onion. Okay. And this is one of those things like a caterer moments. Sure. It's a very simple batter, just a lot like a pancake batter like you'd make for your kids in the morning or whatever. But it's got cornmeal, which gives it a little crunch. It's okay. kind of like a corn tortilla, but a different take on it, a little bit more exciting. And I've just put that pancake batter in a squirt bottle. Listen to this that. makes it so easy. Think about how many of these, if we had a big crowd here, how many of these we could knock out in. Well, I, I would take five flat. alone, so if right? we yeah. just, right? <laughs> They're and delicious. you can make this carnitas even in a crock pot. Beforehand. You, know? you could do that overnight. Okay. And then these take literally, you know, Three minutes. Now, is this something to, you do with your yeah. guests while they're there, or would you want to do it beforehand? This is, this is a fun interactive one. If you do yeah. have a big griddle like this, you can sit it on your counter if you're interested in entertaining your guests. Sure, right. As, as well as feeding them. It's a great presentation food. When do you <clears throat> add the carnitas? Obviously, you want that to be done, but. Um, oh, yeah, you yes. got one right here. Here so we, we go. have some already made. Oh, they're nice and crisp and light. Those are my five, actually. There you, <laughs> go. you can have them. You can have them. I just threw that like. I had no idea. The carnitas is actually, it's got really great uh, flavors. We have orange zest in there. And fresh good time. Too. Yeah. Some cumin. Yep. Okay. Cumin, orange zest. And what is that right there? This is a creme fraiche or just a sour cream will do. Okay. So it's kind of easy to do. Is it something you made prehand or beforehand or you can just buy it? And... Yeah. The okay. creme fraiche you can make with just a little bit of vinegar in your sour cream or lime juice. And the then red this is pickled onion. Red, onion. red onion looks great. Look at that color. And that only, you know, that only soaked overnight in a little red wine vinegar. Oh, that was, oh so you let onion. it soak overnight. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize. That's, that's yeah. a nice little tip I just picked up as well. And, and it really changes the look of a red onion, and it makes it quite glamorous. It really does. So it's like, usually red's got the red on the outside, white on the inside. Yeah, but, but it right. turned it all pink when it, it was steeping in oh. that vinegar. Does it give yeah. it a different flavor as well? Yeah, it, just, it has a vinegariness to it. Really it really softens. So, and it's, it, yes. it really softens the flavor of the onion. If oh, wow, you, look at that pancake. It's perfect. That's yeah. perfect. If you could give us three tips, what would your three tips be to prepare for, you know, 
Plan Think ahead. about it a month, uh, a, a, a couple <laughs> weeks ahead of time. Okay. Plan ahead. Make your shopping list. Okay. And then look at your recipes and see how you can break them down. For example, pick it, pickled onions. You can make that. Right. You can make In that no a week time. ahead yeah. of time. Sure. And you can make this two days ahead of time. I so love having it. things prepared ahead of time is key. Okay. And then go into your fresh market as well, like you said. Find out what's there. Yes. yes. Get inspired by your ingredients. Oh, that's a great way yeah. to put it. Yes. Right. Give yourself a day or two to think about your decor. Okay. You know, order Perfect. flowers. Perfect. And we like to use lots of fresh fruits and vegetables and herbs in our decor as well. And very colorful as well. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank so, you. so, so, so great. Oh, now, for more information uh, about the Chow Girls, go to kcal9.com and click Seen on TV. This looks delicious. Peter. You're making me hungry, guys. It smells so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be over there in a second.